that's in the chat. Yo, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Thank you, Elon Musk. Appreciate the member, dude. How the fuck is everybody doing? Today, fucking, hey, look at this. It's You're going to see a rare sight. Oh, there's sunlight, dude. Isn't that fucking crazy? Actually, it's really hot outside, so I can just do this. How do you do this? Get some fresh air. It's a good old fresh air, dude, because it's not cold anymore, which is fucking great, dude. It's sunny, and it's nice. Uh, fucking, and I fucking feel great today, because I woke up early as shit, and not 6 p.m., so I went to sleep last night at 11 30 at fucking night dude which is, which is amazing it's crazy dude i've never fucking i can't believe i fucking goddamn did that that's, that's, that's i don't know it just blew my mind that i managed to fall asleep so um fucking how's everybody doing today in the goddamn chat here uh i just got my new fucking re-up of coke so we're good now for the next uh, probably week or so that i wouldn't have to worry about that now so it's good um i'm just kidding not coke um if you're worried about my eyes i'm just fucking tired of shit but I woke up today at motherfucking, I woke up actually at like 10 a.m. So I was like, this is a good start for me. I talked to a therapist yesterday and the therapist said that uh, I need to start doing some routines. So I wrote some shit down. He said that I need to go to sleep and wake up at the same time every day. I need to motherfucking What's eat food at the same time every day. What special event for this week? Uh, oh, you'll know. You'll see about that. I'll tell you in a sec. So I need to eat food at the same time every day every uh, and wake up every day at the same time every day. Also, never shave, please. Um, on other people's streams, I kind of just don't say anything because fucking I'm just lazy, like, for the most part. I don't know. Like, this that's stream when he probably for the most, like, exactly what it is, so. She took him to the Eiffel Tower, Louvre Museum breakfast, lunch and dinner to a market to try wine and cheese to go get a H. I mean, that was uh, the stream when, uh, when we went to Paris. Yes, for sure. Thank you, dude. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. That's a great fucking name right there, dude. Thank you, dude. Um, so. I think my sleeping schedule is going to be fixed because I'm going to try and hit that uh, routine that the guy said. Also, the guy said I should have a date night with my girlfriend once a week. Which I'm like, all right, that seems good. If he, say, he says if I start my routine and I do routine shit, then it'll be good. But that's all personal shit you don't really care about. So I'm 22 at a gun pulled in him. Isn't that fucking weird? Wow, I can't believe that motherfucking hasn't happened to me, to be honest. But let's not jinx it, right? Um, but that's fine. I'm, on, I'm in the process of getting my concealed weapons permit in fucking Los Angeles right now. So I would not want anybody to do that because they would not have a good day. Um, all right. So with that being said, all that shit, um, there's going to be some new game plans happening here in the next uh, little bit, which I don't. You, you guys will see as it happens, as time goes on. There's going to be some new stuff happening uh, around here and in this house. <clears throat> when is the midget getting late? I mean, we can get the midget late whenever, but he, I don't think he really wants to get late. He doesn't, uh, he's not trying to get laid. When we, and I talked, when I talked to him, he doesn't seem like he wants to get laid. So, um, yeah, so we have new game plans that are going to happen here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. You guys are just going to see when it happens. Um, and for today, the game plan is, well, I think I just want to hang out with Marie. Me and her, maybe we'll go out if she wants to. We'll go fucking, like, do some shit. I don't know. We'll go bowling or whatever. We'll just, you know, we'll just hang out, have, like, some wholesome shit. Um, I shaved yesterday for a photo shoot. Actually, I forgot to get the photos from the actual guy. Um, so I have a bunch of photos with a white screen um, in the background. So I want to... You know, just put the photos. I want to show you guys what we have because we had some like different uh, poses that we did for the documentary. We had like movie, like it's just like photo shoots and stuff. So I want to give that to uh, just show you guys and so you see what uh, motherfucking can say about that. You think they would grant you a concealed permit? Uh, they would grant you a concealed permit. Yeah, all I have to do is show them DJ threatening to kill me and 
all this other shit. And yes, I will. Uh, they they will 100% give me a concealed permit. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So I need to go to the sheriff's office and uh, you know apply for that, which I already have been working on. So today, where's the Butler stream? Uh, the Butler stream is going to be. Uh, turned on soon, just, uh, I had to talk to the butlers today about stuff, so. You're alive too early, I'm not at work yet, I'll come back later. Hey, I mean, I'll probably still be honest, so don't even worry about that. Um, yeah, so with all that stuff, fucking, yeah, it's because I'm doing fucking coke, dude, I don't want them to fucking expose it. No, it's fine. Um, no, I look good, though, I don't look too bad. But that's, uh, you know, that that's what's, I, I can't really tell you what future stuff that's really gonna happen, but you'll see, there's gonna be some future shit that's gonna go down here. Um, Oh, by the way, I have some interesting news. I'm revamping something. I'm not going to tell you what I'm revamping, but I'm revamping. I'm revamping something at the moment, and uh, I'm going to put that out into the world. We're going to put the re the thing out to the world, and uh, it's going to be highly different. Let me see. Dan Kimberly knocked you out last night. Uh, I mean, basically, dude. She fucking she she called me to sleep last night, so I, I was made it really easy for me to go to sleep. Thank you, Maddie Raper. I appreciate the motherfucking. Uh, Goddamn member, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I don't know what's going on with Bjorn. Bjorn's doing some weird shit, but, I mean, I don't know. Sort of, uh, you know, Bjorn, there's always weird shit going on with Bjorn. So, it is what it is. I can see my balls reflecting. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes, yes, I have interesting news. Just can't tell you guys because somebody will fuck it up. So, you guys will just see when it happens. But when it does happen, you'll be like, oh, wow, okay, that's interesting. Whether you like it or hate it, I don't know. Uh, thank you, Wizard. I appreciate that as well, dude. So... Uh, oh, Marie doesn't have a bedroom right now. She's uh, in SSJ's room. So, uh, yeah, she's going to have a bedroom by the end of uh, tonight, probably. So don't have to worry about that. I know she was, like, saying some weird stuff and, you know, being worried about stuff. But don't worry. I'm going to I'm gonna set her up. So she's going to be good. Um, with all that being said, um, I don't really – there's more that I want to say, but I just shouldn't say. Uh, let me see. But when I get the photos from the uh, the photo shoot guy, I actually want to do some sort of competition that uh, people can use the photos with. So we can and we can start with that for something. Like I said, don't want to go further on that, but I want to have some other competition at the moment. Hey, Ice Buddy says some really bad stuff about you doing white powdery stuff at Blondie at RuneFest. Explain yourself. Uh, well, white Blondie. Oh, you mean uh, what's her face? Fucking uh, Wally. Bad stuff about you doing white powdery. Fucking V Bucks. Yeah. Um. Explain yourself. CS, CS. It, it, it was, uh, this is Viagra. Yes, like, I had to snort Viagra when I was with V-Bucks, dude, because I had a fucking issue with my dick, especially over there, because I had, like, uh, when I went over to Europe, I had fucking, what's the word, like, when you go to another country and, like, your time difference is, like, it makes you fucking tired. Well, whatever that word for that is, my fucking dick just would not get up because motherfucking I had to take yeah if I, oh you jet lag I jet lag my dick homie so you look sexy thank you dude I appreciate that very much it's not coke though I promise you it's just Viagra that I was snorting over there and that cause that shit's a lot easier to get over there you can just buy that shit and fucking like CVS or something uh, Cassandra just had other shit going on or, and we just kicked her out dude so this is pretty simple she was never here so it is what it is she wanted to go skydiving today but I was like I'm, I don't want to skydive it's, I'm scared as fuck dude Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think many of... I, I don't know. Cassandra's like, she's cool, but it is what it is. This is a video shoot. Okay, thank you, dude. Okay, so I know CX News is going to be happening here in about 20 minutes. So what do you guys want me to do? Do you want me to go out, hang out with Marie? Or do you want me to stay here and give live commentary on CX News and then we go fucking out? What do you guys want? Want me to basically just do it, go out, do shit? Or do you want me to hear commentary and then we go out? What do you prefer? Because honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. Thank you, Locaine. I appreciate the member, dude. Thank you very much, homie. Um, Love you, Ice. Thanks for streaming. I do apologize. Streamer. Thank you, Jaster. I appreciate it. I do apologize that the uh, the past couple days I haven't really been live at all. I, I I want to tell you why. I just can't tell you why because of reasons that will just make shit worse. But just fucking bear with me. Uh, shit ain't fucking going easy for me at the moment, and it's really fucking rough. And that's all I can really say. And it's going to be rough for probably th another couple days. Not for you. I'm gonna just going to go live every fucking day. I don't. I mean, y'all don't trust me on that, but I will, whether you trust me or not. It's just been rough for me, and it's going to stay sure, rough for me for a house. little bit. Sure. Leave aside. Uh, let me see. Go live. Go ask live commentary, Monkas. Okay. Well... 
I think most people just want me to go out instead, as I'm seeing by the chat here. Give hey, commentary, Monkus. Stay here, then you go out. Well, I mean, we'll see. Uh, hey, I said no secret about Bodhi for you to expose. He has no soul. I mean, hey, well, Bodhi's fucking ginger. That makes sense. So, no wonder I the nose so big. Yeah, it's the coke, dude. You know, I can prove to you I don't do coke. Like, if I snort, if I snort any powder, it won't work. Like, it, 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 it it's hard. I can't snort shit. My nose has a lot of boogers and snot and sh and other stuff that it, does, it wouldn't work. You know what I mean? Um, to be honest. Um, so it's like it just it'd be too painful Stay like comment on the news I want to watch it with you Like if I tried snorting this it would hurt dude like no I wouldn't be able to Like, there's too much snot in the way. I just, it's not possible. <sighs> so, I don't see how I could ever do coke in this fucking world, dude, honestly. Oh, that was probably green, wasn't it? You two were my favorite Hollywood couple. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, thank you, dude. Well, that was back, that was two years ago, man. But, uh, hey, fucking, you know, you never know how, what, you never know where the world's going to take you. You never know how the shit's going to end up, right? <laughs> Stay and comment on the news. I want to watch it with you. Well, let's see what CX News is all about. We'll watch it for like 10 minutes or so. If it's interesting, we'll stay. We'll commentate it. If it's not interesting, we'll just go out and fucking do other shit. So, you know what I mean? And we'll go from there. Because I'm interested. Every time I'm watching the CX News, I'm always interested in just what they have to talk about. Because it's always like, it's, it's always quite uh, the interesting stuff. Drug, okay, Hi, chat. We don't need to do a fucking drug test. Okay, I do coke chat. Like, there you go. Fucking, who needs a goddamn drug test? Like, I'm just going to say it. I admit it. I do coke. I've been doing coke for years. It's cost me $2,500 every fucking week, okay? I buy an eight ball. I get fucking high as shit, and then that's why I stream, and that's why I do stuff. I haven't had coke for the past month. That's why I've been fucking feeling like shit, okay? You can clip this. You can put it anywhere. I don't really give a shit. There you go, dude. Another drug. T I know we're not like we've done drug tests every fucking time. Probably a good old like five, six times now. Never failed for coke. That's because I drain my system and I use a homeless person's pee. Okay, that's why I've passed the drug test. So don't worry about it. There you go. I fucking just said it. Who gives a shit? It's goddamn coke. Guess what? I'm fucking 24 years old. Motherfucking ass. It is what it is. We can move on now and never bring it up again because who gives a shit? Um, Motherfucking. So, CX News is in 15 minutes, 14 minutes. So, we're just going to fuck. We're just going to chill until then. So, the thing I actually uh, want to revamp, I shouldn't really tell you guys, but we need a place for the community to go that's not Discord. So, um, the revamp might uh, be happening here because for some things. Because I uh, need fucking shit like suggestions and advice and know what the fuck is going on and not be out of the loop of for some of the shit without uh, having to go to outside sources. So, I mean, that's uh, true on that. And by the way, I think I'm addicted to nicotine and this ain't good. I literally have not smoked this in a week. And I felt like absolute shit for the past week. And then I smoked this today, and I don't feel bad at all. So I think I'm addicted to fucking nicotine or something. So uh, I don't know how to... That's not good. I don't know how to cut that out. But that, that was... I mean, I'm not, like, urging it. Like, I'm not... I don't want to smoke nicotine when I'm not smoking it. Like, I'm not... I don't have the urge to smoke it when I'm not smoking it. But I just felt like shit. And I, I smoked this today, and I felt fine. So... I'm really worried for you. I don't want you to Mac Miller. Uh, okay, well, I'm just kidding, dude. I don't actually... Uh, listen, I'm not kidding. What am I going to say? I'm not going to overdose on drugs. You don't have to worry about me, okay? Fucking trust me, dude. I mean, I don't actually do coke, but I'm just going to say I do just because I don't really give a shit about arguing about it. Um, I'm not going to uh, Mac Miller and o OD on drugs, okay? Mac Miller is also suicidal, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he just randomly OD'd um because and if you randomly od on drugs you probably have a really shitty drug dealer that's all i have to say there's no reason why mac miller couldn't have a good drug dealer being the man that he was so just throwing it out there if i want drugs i can get drugs from a good dealer without it being a fentanyl 
do a vape trick. I don't know any fucking vape trick. I could blow O's, but not with this, though. That's not bad, right? There you go. That's not bad at all. Uh, that's all I can really do, though. I can't do no other tricks. And I learned that from Voldesad, dude. So, hey, it is not too bad, huh? Uh, Metaphanol's getting to you. And, dude, I took so much today, dude. I took literally the whole bottle. It's fine. I took four or five Metaphanols, dude. But isn't that good? I'm live. Here I am. Let me see. Give me CC rank on my regular account. I'm done with Iron Man. Uh, no, you only... Oh, I mean, I guess I can give you with my woes, but... Otherwise, I only add Ultimate Iron Man, so it's fine. Dude, my Ultimate Iron Man on RuneScape's looking mad good. If I do a sponsor stream tonight, I can show y'all. It's looking mad motherfucking good. It's, uh, I got almost full rune. I got a motherfucking ancient uh, fucking thing from the, the clue scroll that you wear on your neck. Uh, lavalier, or like, I don't know, some fucking weird shit. But, uh, yeah, so it's really, really quite interesting, to be honest. <clears throat> you don't look anything like you used to. I know I look much better. I look pretty actually good right now. I don't even know. Um. Oh, yeah, Crozier, that's right. But I am only 24 Slayers, or 24 Prayers, so I cannot even wear, wield it, so that's not cool. Um, I don't know. Foggy, dude. <clears throat> I don't, let me see, Coke tricks. Oh, well, let me see. I know Coke tricks. Actually. Just finally quit nicotine after trying for a year, <laughs> Use the three, two, one, Have you ever tried snorting Coke with a vacuum? This is what you do. Okay, you snort the Coke up your nose, you vacuum your nose, get the Coke out, and then you snort it again, dude. You get double high for the same amount of Coke. It's literally, like, it's not bad at all. I like it. It's pretty good. It works out nicely. Uh, let me see. Do the arm thing, homie? I don't know what the fuck that is, dude, but thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it, dog. I just finally quit nicotine after trying for a year plus using the three, two, one step down patches. They're much okay. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm fine. I can just quit nicotine and feel like shit for a week. I don't really care. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not like addicted. Like, I don't want to I smoke nicotine, but. I couldn't do shit with it, so that's why I switched to red. How is Earth doing? Oh, my account's really nice. If I do a sponsor stream later tonight, I will show you, and it's looking really, really nice. Uh, okay, if we do, uh, when we go out here, I'm using a live view. I'm not using the fucking phone because I know when I stream off the phone, it's not looking too good. It's pixelated and dog shit and all this stuff. So I'm just, uh, I fixed it. So we can use it. Instead of using just goddamn whatever the fuck. Does SSG I'll take the phone just in case though. Every streamer once they come to your streamer house. That fool talks to SJC like crap and pretty much takes the high horse with everyone. I don't get um, I mean, I think everyone always thinks they can micromanage things in the in uh, my community, but uh, then when it comes down to it, that ends up not being the case because it's not as easy as they think because this community is quite intense, which is obviously <laughs> very hard to deal with a lot of the times. So it's really interesting. <clears throat> I don't know, it is, but it is what it is. Um, Voldasad's doing a really good job on his radio show, and I really, uh, I think he's gonna go. He's gonna go places. He's gonna go great places. Yesterday, it was funny. I sat, I sat next to him, dude, and he was uh, in, in fucking. He was doing the IRL stream, and he was just. It was crazy, dude. He ended up. I don't know. It was just. It was just funny, dude. He was just chilling and. All the stuff that people were saying, which is funny as shit, to be honest. Um, but his radio show, when he sits at his computer, is really good. And uh, I think he should try to add, like, more things to it that's more than just calls. Like, have, you know, subjects and, uh, you know, other kind of shit to talk about. But, you know, that's just something as a viewer I would suggest. That's something that needs to be done, though. Because, you know, a lot of the times it's just, like, the same callers over and over and over. Um, I don't know. Are you going to try to do anything with VidCon 2019? If TanoCon is happening, you can go fuck around in there. No, I'm not doing anything with VidCon. I'm banned from the that convention center in Anaheim, and I don't want to go to jail again, so no. Not even not happening at all. I don't give a shit about going to VidCon uh, or TwitchCon. I don't want to go to any event that's going to get me potentially arrested. Not going to any of those things. Um, 
because obviously there's just issues to be had, uh, especially if I go to court on the second. Mexican Andy is a house drug dealer. We all know him as the Fleck. Mexican Andy is not the house drug dealer. Okay. Harvey is the house drug dealer. He's the only black uh, guy that we have, so. You don't have to worry. How do you feel about Hyphonics Twitch streaming in the house? To be honest, How he hasn't fucked me over Hyphonics at all Twitch since he went on Twitch. So, I don't really care. I mean, he hasn't fucked me over in any way. When Evan went on Twitch, he pretty much was like, all right, fuck the CX network, fuck this, fuck that. Like, that was the difference. Hyphonics hasn't said anything negative, so... I don't really care. That seems fine with me. Um, just don't, you know what I mean? Just don't downplay the community and you're good. Uh, Evan was downplaying the community constantly and being a fucking asshole about it. So that's why he ended up in the situation he ended up in uh, for the most part. Hyphonic's actually a cool dude and actually a friend of mine. So I'm like Evan. So, uh, you know, he has a little bit more respect than Evan does. And you know what? If Hyphonics goes to Twitch full time eventually, I wouldn't even be mad because I sort of had that expectation anyways, since he's, you know, has his own thing going on before he got banned on Twitch originally. And he's also been respectful. So that's what I care about the most respect more than, you know, anything else. So when are you opening up so the. Are you opening up the edit again? <laughs> we know you're on the alternative in any way. Um. Well, like I said, we yeah, might do some revamps uh, and go from there. Uh, so you just have to stay tuned and see what's going on with that. <clears throat> Thank you, Was. I appreciate that, homie. So CX News starts in about five minutes. I don't know what news there is to be had, actually, this week. I really don't know what they're going to talk about, but I guess we'll see. And I'll just give my, uh, my intake on it. I mean, he's going to talk about probably Adam-22 with the gun thing and all this other, you know, and then, like, some other shit, like Marie coming and et cetera, but... I don't really know what else he would talk about. I'll probably listen to it for like 10, 20 minutes, and we'll go out and we'll just do some stuff. Let me see. You're really salty. Uh, you, as soon as he went on Twitch, you IP banned yourself. What have I told you that I've been streaming on Twitch for the past week? Can even a couple days shower. before Hyphonics was even unbanned. Uh, there's no, that has nothing to do with him, dude. It's literally just... A little account that I have the fuck around on that nobody knows about except a few amount of people. So, it wasn't to do anything with him. Uh, and by the way, me and Hyphonics are on different internet lines. So, we have different IP addresses. So, there's that doesn't even apply. Hi, let me see. Hi, hypocrite wants respect, doesn't respect viewers. I don't know what that means, but thank you, dude. Well, how does he not respect viewers? Love this dreams. Paul, keep up the great work. I don't know how he doesn't respect viewers. I think he does. What do you mean? How does, what are you talking about? First, thank you. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. I don't like your name. Oh, yeah, it's a shit meme. But thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Let me see. Fucking thank you. Hey, Ice. Even Volta said, said half his callers are from Hispanic names. Let me see. There is a big market out there of Hispanics you need to tap into. Get some Spanish streams on, like, the Capitan continent and stuff. I know there's a lot of Spanish motherfuckers that watch my shit. I don't know why. It's crazy. Okay, stop. Enough of that. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, no. A lot of stream snipers, a lot of viewers are Hispanic, which is kind of weird. So maybe I'm doing like a, maybe I'll do like a taco th stream or something. Like something that Hispanics would really love. Like some kind of thing. Because, I mean, it's true. Maybe when fucking well, Mar Siesta comes or like, I don't know, Mardi Gras. Like what the fuck is Spanish shit? You're the hypocrite, not Hyphonics. Um, oh, okay, Soapy, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I've like I said, I've, I've uh, been going through some major issues the past couple days, so um, you just have to bear with me here um, for the most part. Um, yeah, but I think most, I think actually most of my viewers are Hispanic over white. I mean, what are you? What is your ethnicity in the chat, anyways? Because uh, I definitely think we have more Hispanics than anything else. Even though I said that I. <laughs> Voted for Donald Trump, but I mean, I guess that just says something, doesn't it? You know, I mean, so if somebody can vote for Donald Trump and still have a bunch of Latino supporters, then hey, that's not bad, isn't it? I don't think Trump should build a wall, though. I think he should build a fucking electric barrier with lasers and shit and have like a fucking 
space shuttle that like shoots down fucking like barriers using dark matter. That's what you need the most. Let me see. Here's a clip of your worst enemy. Okay, yeah. Thank you. I voted for Trump, but I didn't actually go and vote. Exactly. I did not take the effort to do so. But in my head, I said, I hope Trump wins over Hillary Clinton. You are damn right about that. But I did not actually vote because I'm a fucking uh, lazy motherfucker to society. Try to pronounce the name. Love you, bud. Guler. All right. Thank you, Guler. I appreciate that, homie. Oh. This is some this is some old school shit. Although I don't think anyone in the chat actually even remembers this song because this is like three years ago. If, that, if there's any three year old fucking people in the chat here, you let me know. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna test y'all then. Who made this song? Let's see how many three year people we have. Uh, what was the last home cooked thing you had? Um, something that the butlers made. I guess yesterday uh, they made fucking uh, Luchador made tacos, so that's pretty good. It's true. Or a girl's pussy, more pussy than Drake. Gets no hate. Nope. This is his Raj friend. toilet, Raj toilet. Damn, motherfucker. Raw's toilet did not make this song. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just a dead streamer, homie. Uh, <clears throat> not Raw. It was Young Jilker. What is this? Here is what is this? Here's the content. Thankful we didn't kill gunmen. Oh, okay, this. Yeah, I can't believe that. What like like a motherfucking gun getting pulled at him? Like, how does that even happen? Like, I almost thought it was fake. Because how the fuck can a guy go into his store for one? And second, how did he think that was going to play out well at all? Without it, I thought, like, I thought they were joking. Like, how did that, how did he think that was actually going to play out? <laughs> like, I don't understand. How does this happen? You're, You're doing racist. a podcast in the back. You don't follow up on um, promises. Drug head. No sympathy for anyone. The only thing you know what to do is destroy a community. Lol. What happened to your Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right, dude. permanently messed up? Also, we can tell you got a new script of some idiot. Yeah, I can't see out of my left eye, and I'm on a ton of fucking Vyvanse. Uh, BMX and clothing store in Melrose. Do you think you'll ever get him banned on Twitch so you can go on other people's streams? Uh, I mean, that'd be nice, but, uh, I don't know, dude, unlikely. And a guy comes in all the way to the back to rob you? I, it's, it's a weird story. Well, basically, like, there's a there's a rear entrance to get into the store, and I always have, like, I, I wouldn't call him my security, but basically, like, you know, a friend of mine, a close friend of mine who is armed, and he's he, he hangs out by the door the whole time just in case anything ever were to happen, and this guy actually snuck in right after our... Uh, post How do you door. snuck in? It, honestly, like, it, it felt as if the situation was more likely to be a joke than to be a real thing, so I kind of let out this, like nervous laugh and what, what Can you can't see in the video friend, too is that oh, what's going on nick how you doing i had his gun pointed at the guy's head the guy didn't know yet but my guy had already pulled out and was pointed at him i'm actually that's the thing that i'm really thankful about in the whole thing is just that this guy didn't get killed because it was really really close to to happening well i mean i guess i don't blame people for questioning it because and if you're wondering what clip is being talked about it's this one right here that uh I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but in case you haven't, it's this one right here. Quite, uh, like, it's just, it doesn't even make sense, dude. Like, it just doesn't make, when there's, like, eight people around and, like, in your store, like, it doesn't make sense. But after seeing that clip, I literally went to the sheriff's office today and I applied for a, uh, a concealed weapons permit, so. Um, okay, let's go on uh, with CX News then. This shit is live, so. Let's give our, our commentary based on such. I'm only going to be giving commentary for like 10 minutes or something, though. Because I don't want to just fucking steal their content for the next hour. And I don't think y'all want to see that. Let me see. What is this? Oh. Does anyone know this song, though? What's the, na what's the name of this song? Listen, dude. 
Ice Poseidon is not a virgin. C -X. I don't think anyone really knows this one. This one's less popular. C -X. Too many try hards. I'd rather see some C -X. Now Thank you, dude, though. I appreciate it. And they will... <laughs> they will apply... They will accept me for my weapons permit. Like, they will. I will just show them videos of DJ threatening to kill me. Like, that's easy. Uh, you need to have a reason to have a weapons permit. I have more than enough reason, so I will get that. And if somebody tries to play any dumb shit, like pulling a gun on me, I will just shoot them <laughs> you know what i mean when's the next when's rv the next trip RV well we get our rv pretty soon here so uh, i don't exactly know when but it's ready we just have to go to oklahoma and pick it up don't know uh, when i'm gonna have the time to do that but we can just go pick it up whenever uh and then we have to like renovate it still so here's the yes i i know i saw the the clip no you're f stop stop with that dude Imagine giving me ice a gun. I mean, I've shot guns before. Like, I know, like, how to shoot a gun. Like, I, was, I mean, fuck it. I don't know. I carry the fucking taser with me everywhere. So, uh, and that's pretty much like a gun. I just, for self-defense, so. Is it a real RV this time? It's the military truck, dude. He definitely won't. Dude. Think about it. You're the sheriff's office. You see somebody like me, and my life is in danger sometimes. Would, like, of course you, you give it to me. So I, it's part of my second amendment. I help us all, this scumbag weasel with a gun. I will weep if the government of California gives this dude a gun. He will shoot anyone when he is coked out. Okay, I'm not actually on coke. Um, and no, I won't, dude, because I don't want to go to jail, so <laughs> that's not going to work. All I have to do is I'm just going to go to the sheriff's office. I'm going to give him like a hundred dollars fucking just be like, yo, just can I have this? And they'll just be like, yeah, so it's fine. I'm a truck, truck driver. driver with class a CDL license. Pay me and I'll deliver your bucket truck to you, Lowell. Actually, that would be good. How much would I have to pay you, though? All right, I'm going to mute this TTS for now, though. <clears throat> yeah, no, all I have to do is bribe the police, dude. I can just get a CDL or a, C a CWW is fine, dude. Or CCW is fine. Like, give them like maybe $200. <laughs> I mean, in Florida, all you had to do is walk in, fill out some paperwork, walk out with a gun. So, and then in Alaska, actually. You know what's completely legal but totally fucked up? When I was in Alaska, they told me I can go to Alaska, I can buy a fucking gun, and then I can bring it to any state in, in the U.S. without a permit. I just can't carry it with me, but I can have it in my house. Uh, and in Alaska, you can carry a gun without needing a permit. That's, I, they, maybe I didn't get, maybe I'm not getting it exactly right, but that's what they said. I'm just going off. They said something like that. I know you could buy shit in Alaska without a permit, so. <laughs> All right, we'll watch the beginning of this and then we'll head out. Maybe you can't leave with it, but I was told you could. Hello and welcome to oh, Mexican CX2. Andy, I'm dude. Host, Bone Clinks, and I'm dude. With our special guest co host, Mexican Andy. <laughs> Hi, Bone Clinks. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, thanks so much for coming. I appreciate Fuck that. It. No problem. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little bit late, though. No, 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 no. It's, it's all good. We're a little bit. all sweaty. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. We should have gotten you in a suit. I think that would have been better. Oh, I know. I have a burgundy suit, but it's my parents' house, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Next time. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. All right, so we got quite a bit of news for this week, so we're going to get right into it as quickly as possible. The big news... Do we have a lot of news? ...obviously is Hyphonix being unbanned on Twitter. That's right. Yeah, that is... Yes, it did. And we actually have some clips of the exact moment when it went down. Also, <laughs> something that's a little bit not as uh, widely talked about is Asian Andy also got unbanned on Twitch. I think... It didn't happen in the same day or something? I believe it did, yeah. <laughs> it looks like Twitch is coming for the CX network a little bit. Am I next? Oh, oh I hope so. Am I next? That'd be sick. No, that'd be like, that'd, that'd be, really be crazy. Good. I'm like, wow. I was so, just laughing because Andy's there. It's funny. Unbanned. Maybe we can do it. I did an appeal just in case. You did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Hyphonics, it actually happened the day he was on CX News. 
So maybe it will happen with you tonight. Well, we'll see. Maybe Twitch staff is going to watch me. Hi, Twitch staff. <laughs> Hi, Twitch staff. Hi, Paul Danino, by the way. I know you're watching. <laughs> Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's go into the first clip and see what the reaction was when Hyphonics first got unbanned on Twitch. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. All right. Is this my clip or is this just how it is? Twitch is coming for us, but that's fine. Uh, I, think we're, that's, I don't think that's the clip, bud. I think we're having a little bit of issues with the uh, wires or something like that. Yeah, we Twitch can exactly what it is. Try all right, we're having a little bit of technical issues. Do not worry, though. We're going to get it all figured out as quickly as possible. Um, you know, it is the day after St. Patrick's Day, so these things do happen. Everyone's a little bit hungover. No worries whatsoever. But Hyphonics unbanned on Twitch. I know that caused a whole lot of stir with everybody. I was, I was in, my, in my room. Mm -hmm. And I hear a bunch of screaming. I'm like, what's going on? And I go upstairs and then Hyphonics on ban. I'm like, oh shit. Literally on ban after nine months. The funny part is that he went live on Twitch immediately after that and then immediately got banned and again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, dude, dude, I was like, dude, I felt so, I got, like, I felt bad. I'm like, wow. He's streaming for like a couple minutes. I thought yeah. like he got banned because I saw him breaking the table. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, could it be that reason? But then, you know, I just don't think Twitch staff communicates with each other very well. Yeah, apparently it was just a lot of people mass reporting him and then some sort of mistake about ban evasion, something like that. So who knows? But I was really scared because me and Bam were actually in the room and uh, we were there during the whole thing. And he jumped on a table and we're worried that if we were somehow involved in game uh, banned again. But it's all good. So we're going to try this clip one more time. Hopefully this works. Uh, a little bit of technical issues, but don't worry. It's all good. Let's see if we can get this going. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's try. It's not the clip. That's like a new, that's like a new. Try a different clip. Okay, we're gonna move on from that clip. Fuck it, dude. No clips work. It's fine. All right, fuck it. Let's move on to the next clip. No worries whatsoever. Okay, let's try this out. This is the uh, the first intro to Hyphonics' stream on Twitch. Let's watch this, which features me actually and Bam. Nah, dude. It's, it's <laughs> it's what the fuck? Uh, Fuck you, dude. <laughs> All right, technical issues. We will get that figured out. Hopefully, as soon as possible. I guess the production staff's a little bit harder. <laughs> Come yeah, on, Bo no, clicks. No, I'm funny. not surprised. Yeah. Anyways, everyone's a little, got a little bit uh, too drunk last night. We're getting a little bit of technical issues. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. It's all good. I promise. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real with y'all. It's just the poly effects I'm watching. Um, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I find skiing on band is a huge congratulations to him. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I envy the fuck out of that because streaming on YouTube is fucking hella difficult. It is difficult as fuck, but, uh, you know, it's totally possible in, like, certain avenues, But you, obviously, as you can see. But it's just very fucking difficult. So, actually, uh, Fonks was questioned about this on his Reddit. There was a post on his Reddit saying that exact same thing. Which he didn't really respond to whatsoever, but I don't know. Do you do you do you think that Ice is capable of doing something like I that? Mean, probably. I mean, I when I remember when I got banned on Twitch, I got IP banned. So yeah, but I don't think that Ice would really maliciously try to get Hyphonics then why banned. Twitch, no, of course not. Done it on a YouTube account or some shit. Well, because he probably wanted to stick it to Twitch or something like that. I guess I don't know. I have no idea. I personally don't even really know what the stream was. It was just him playing RuneScape. Without a camera or a mic or anything, right? Oh, breaking news! To the goblin watching. Oh, yeah, 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 Okay, yeah, no, yeah, stop. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. no, enough of that. Um, no, of course not. I just wanted to stream and fucking link the Discord something that, you know, was, uh, f you know, just, like, funny. Like, that's all. There's nothing malicious there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. So stop spamming that shit! Very Listen, good, very enough. Enough. I'm moving. I'm. I'm. Very awesome stuff. I bet that was torture kidding. for you doing that for ten Not hours. Not funny. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was that was pretty bad. Definitely. Um. All right. So, what do you think? You think these uh, clips are working right now? <laughs> Can what? Try my laptop screen. Yeah. Five dollars yeah. for the Wi-Fi oh, bill. Okay, yeah, it's okay. not working. 
I've never tried. Actually, I've tried SNES. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, yeah. One second. Okay. Uh, I'm All not right, into sorry, nicotine. Sorry, guys. Dude. A little bit technical Can we put on a commercial or something like that and get this fixed? Does that work, or should we just try this? Okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Command P. Okay. Here we go. So duplicate, right? Okay. All right. And uh, do you want to try that again here? Nope. Okay. All right. No worries. Can you can you let me switch back to? Okay. No worries. All right. Fine. That's that's okay. Everything's um, so scuffed, Bumpkins. What is this? I don't know. Why is it so it's so scuffed today. Usually everything's fine. Oh, know. what's going on, Ellis? Oh, how you doing, baby girl? The whole thing like <laughs> messing up today, man. Is it because I'm here? What is I this? think so. I'm I don't know. I Mexican crazy. Andy should fix oh, it. Okay, he has okay, good sweet. quality on his streams. Come on, bro. Uh, all right, let's try this. You now. know what's how to do this. This is Hyphonix's first moment being unbanned on mm. Twitch. Here we go. All right. Okay. We're bad boys. I don't even fucking understand it. All right. I'm having a heart attack right now. <laughs> it was great. I was just, I was sitting in there and the kind of energy coming from him was, it was, there was so much. He was so excited to be finally on. I don't know why you're spamming. Ice is so jealous, Chad. I literally said congratulations to him. I envy it. Like, motherfucker, what do you mean? Um, how, how long were, have you been banned on Twitch? Uh, it's probably been like, it's probably been like a year and a couple months. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. What'd you get banned for? <laughs> I have no idea. I forgot. <laughs> I think I think cause uh, I will, I did like copy pasta. Oh okay. But it was uh, I don't know it was like an insult. Ah. Yeah, so insulting I, copy pasta. I see. It was on a, I think I did it on a small streamer and. Like, yes, Ellis, uh, okay. I love you. Of course, get, please send me another ten dollars ah. saying why you love me. Like, and I'm like I got banned. Like okay. That I sucks. You should definitely send in your appeal. I did. I did. Yeah. Um, like Thank you, Ellis. I appreciate okay. it. Right. Nothing yet though, but I mean, I think I heard if you do multiple appeals, like yeah. they don't actually... Oh, breaking news! Paul is a horrible human. Marie treated him so well in Paris. Her mom even moved two flights of stairs so that bunnies could sleep in her room. He thanks her by putting horse face Lexi in the big room. And makes her share a room with rat face SSJ <laughs> Like I said, I'm, human. I did not I'm taking that. care of. You ever watched what you say, bone clanks? Yeah. You know, Lexi C is never usually at the house, though. Really? Yeah. Ooh, do we have another Cassandra here? I mean, possibility. <laughs> like I, mean, I said, I I'm like, taking care of it. You don't got to worry. Marie's yeah. going to get her own room by tonight. You don't, mm -hmm. don't even worry about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I've been watching some of her content. We're going to get to that in a little bit, but. Uh, yeah. I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. I really am. Okay, so next story. So recently, a lot of streamers have been considering the move to Twitch from the CX Network. And uh, let's let's check out some of them, the people who are considering making the move. And I think that some of them might actually surprise you, believe it or not, because we have none other than EBZ, who's actually <laughs> thinking about going to EBZ. Twitch, apparently. Yeah, but, you know, him driving... And looking at chat while driving can get him banned on Twitch. What? You mean him trying to get in fights with random people who are driving and getting into road rage, yelling fits, and calling people racist and having racist donations would not work on Twitch? That's shocking. <laughs> He's going to get banned on Twitch, 100%. That's shocking. <laughs> I'm shocked. Dude, okay, I would like, love to see like, EBZ like, try, like, though. So words on Twitch? Yeah. I have so many words blacklisted on No, Twitch. I know. That's why half of my TTS donations say bunnies or rainbows or whatever the heck it is. I used to, no, I used to have that before. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's watch this clip. When I was on Twitch, I didn't even have TTS. It's risky. Twitch. I'm moving to Twitch. I probably just have a Twitch account. I've always I've been saying that shit for a while and I've never really created it. I should just create it. It might actually actually be a lot of fun. You know what? In case you guys want to do I uh, I mean oh, really just make it breaking news. Account. Breaking news just in from the medical journal after years of research, it's been found that <laughs> If you stick your finger in your ear, you're a yes man new anchor with a teeny tiny weenie. Yes, indeed. And I hear Jeff Ellie, IP2 rent free, Marino room in Butler's ghetto room. This, this just in, I have a small weenie. Wait, are you a yes man? Like I got to say, I think I just found my sugar mama chat. Oh God, yeah, I'm a yes man. man. In the medical journal, it's just been Well, you also support Kimberly. Well, anyways, 
Yeah, Ellis. The other person who was on Twitch recently is none other than Marie. Marie was on Twitch with Hyphonics doing the Trainwrecks podcast. Let's check out a little bit of that scene. Ah, moi aussi. Enfin, je suis de la banlieue, je suis de la banlieue ouais. C'est ça Dans, dans le 93 du 93. 93, d'accord. Okay. Et toi, t'es Paris-Paris Paris-Paris, ouais. Ah, cool. Cool, qu'est-ce que tu fais à LA Tu vis à LA ou t'es en vacances Non, je suis en vacances. Ah, cool, ça. Bienvenue. What Ouais. I don't know. It's French, I guess. Where did you go to? Huh? Where did you go to? Asking me where, where I'm living. Oh. I was, no, I was, I'm sorry! It's, it's apparently French. I don't know. I don't speak that language. The so only thing I know in French is bonjour. Ooh. Literally the only thing I, I know. All I know is omelette du fromage. Sacré bleu. Sacré bleu. Omelette du fromage. As long as you talk, every, as long as every time you talk, give me ten dollars, I'm okay with that. Uh, Hyphonix leaving, or, oh, sorry. Streaming on Twitch and getting unbanned. Let's check that out. Hey, Hyphonics got banned on Twitch. Um, people were asking me what I think about that. I think that's fine. That's only more, what's it called, like uh, advertisement for the entire thing that we've got going on here. It's just he brings in more that's people and directly helps me and directly helps everyone else. As long as he doesn't completely disown the community and like ditch everything, like it's totally fine, dude. As you know what I mean? Like with Evan, he tried to ditch everything and like he tried to. Fucking, like, his intentions were different, so. So does that mean that ICE is looking to actually calm down with the whole restriction on Twitch streamers being on the network? If he's okay with Hyphonics doing it, PD's doing it, EBZ's talking about doing it. Uh, I don't see any negative from it. <coughs> as long as they don't uh, blacklist yeah. this community from their vocabulary, I don't really care, to be yeah. honest. I mean, I, they I just can't think that it would make be like sense. Evan and be like, CX is a dead end job, this and that. Hey, yeah, fuck the CX, fuck CX, fuck the community, fuck this and that. Like, this is like, as long as they're not like Evan, it's all good. More people to the whole network and the storyline. Exactly. Yeah. Promoting the website. Yeah, keep promoting the website, whatever it is, scuffed or icebassign.com, you know, so. I'm, I'm actually very excited about that, if that is the case. Um, so hopefully we'll see it go towards that way because uh, I think that'd be very beneficial for, honestly, the entire network in general. Um, okay, so we actually have a, some clips right here of Sophia talking on a podcast on Twitch. Um, let's see a little bit of this and see what she's talking about here. Like of living all together, like I still don't understand what is it's that. Like, like uh, well, these collaborations <laughs> well and... you see, the point was uh, <laughs> there would be like more like events going on here, and like mm -hmm. there's several streamers, so they would do things together because they're all like IRL streamers. That was the point. Did it work out like that? No, so now we're just kind of like coexisting kind of together, and just like it, the, the vibe is kind of weird sometimes, and like things happen, and we kind of don't know. And I, I ask because I don't want to know because I'd rather tell the chat I don't know what's going on that knowing and then like telling them that I don't I don't want to tell them so you know I, I kind of just stay in this walls and, and go to the gym and come back to these walls and it's just like you're basically in a glorified prison of what it sounds like you <laughs> yeah. can't be free. so let me ask you a question do you feel like the streamer house is a glorified prison a glorified prison <laughs> I mean I've been going out yeah like, like like, like, just like I want to t TJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fine. I don't think so. Everyone in the house hangs out with each other daily. <laughs> no, but um, wasn't there a problem with you and SSJ regarding you going TJ, or was it just with the butlers? The butlers only. The butlers only. Yeah, they didn't want them to go because I'm yeah. safe. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, I'll, and, but he still let me go. He just uh -huh. told me I gotta be very, very careful. I'm like, okay. Like, well, it's crazy because um. It's, it's, it's really good they did let you do that because you got some of the best footage of this entire year in IRL. I like, know. Quite literally, some of this is actually like history making footage. Imagine this happened on Twitch though. Yeah. Oh, that would have been, oh, that would have been pretty good. Um, I, 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 Although she did say that her and Hyphonics are moving out. Hyphonics hasn't told me anything, so I don't really know anything about that. Uh, but if he streams full time on Twitch, that's probably for the best. Um, for him, at least, you know, and I'm not selfish, like in a not selfish kind of way. So I don't think that would be bad at all. Like, like people crossing the border, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, some people were talking about how we'll, we'll get into this a little bit later. I want to continue on where we're talking right now, and uh, we're gonna be showing the clip of you doing the filming, that border crossing, everything like that. Um, but next thing I want to talk about is uh, Sophia actually. Slipping up a little bit, apparently, and stating that Hyphonics will be leaving the streamer mansion. Well, yeah, I don't know anything about that yet. He hasn't said anything, so I really can't back up that claim, but...
placement? I don't know. That's it's what I question. don't know. That's a good question. I'm sure we can find some Liddy Facebook live streamer or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so Liddy. Ha right? <laughs> ha, so Liddy. <laughs> All right, let's check out this clip. TwitchCon Berlin that I wanted to go anyway, so I think that that'd be the same time period you guys are going to be there, so. Maybe. It's just like, we have so much shit to do, dude. Yeah. We're like, by moving soon and then going to Austin and then um, all that shit. Um. TwitchCon Berlin that I wanted to go anyway. So, so that they're that going to Austin, apparently. A lot of people actually thought that this had to do with going she to Miskip and E-Rob's place. Which she probably I said they're I moving. Well, not moving, uh, visiting. To, like their apartment or house or whatever it is in Austin. Or maybe, I don't know. But I haven't heard shit yet, so. The case, and Typhonix actually made his statement about it a little bit later. All right. But why Texas? Uh, Sophia just said on her podcast today that you were moving soon and that you're going to Texas. And my chat was having a shit fit about Sophia, it. Sophia, we're going to have to talk about this because I'm not moving to Texas. Just because Miss Kip, Soda Pop, and all of them live there doesn't mean I want to live in Texas. Okay. Because what is there to do in Texas besides the streamers? Just don't play Wow. 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 There you go. It looks like they're having a little bit of disagreement about. What exactly is their story? They did clarify later on stating that their plan is to buy a house in Florida, in Florida yeah. and just to go visit Austin for a little bit. And that they've been planning this for weeks apparently and we're actually gonna do it in January before entering the house. But I don't know, it's a little bit a little bit suspect. A little bit. A little bit. I mean, she said it, she slipped up. Yeah, yeah. all I'm saying is <clears throat> if Iphonics was moving, I definitely think he would have told somebody. Uh, and he hasn't told anybody, so I don't think he is. Outright say, oh, no, 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 we're going to be going to Florida, blah, blah, blah. He kind of just outright denied it, you know? Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Um, we have yet another yet another streamer um, going, who's actually streaming more on Twitch, PD Plastic, who has a little bit to say about the mansion, the Liddy CX Mansion 2. So this is PD Plastic playing RuneScape. He hasn't been here in a mansion. Like, AIDS, like a hundred times a day. Like, it's just not fun. I don't want toxic shit. I can't even hear him. Like, I, I have no more toxic shit now that I'm not going to the house. And, like, I, I've seen that that's the pattern, so I'm not going there and fucking getting people yelling at me and talking nasty to me and shit like that. Like, I'm not about that. I'm going to stop that. Who talks nasty to people in the house? Everyone in the house currently all gets along pretty well. I just think that, like, everybody that's in the house right now, the whole house cast is, like, fine. Like, not toxic at all. Like yeah. Each other. Yeah. I don't know. I think everyone likes each other in the house. I'm not mean to anybody. I don't know who's talking yeah. shit behind each other's um, backs. It's interesting because they're actually now recently. Have you heard about uh, Farmer Charlie's streamer house? <coughs> I just, I've seen it. Yeah, I've watched the stream for like for like a minute. Yeah, apparently Viewers, Farmer huh. Charlie now has his own rival streamer house, and Gary actually went to go check it out. They have a nice little backyard, all this stuff. Evan, the Milker Sisters, Dead Scene are all there at this house, which happens to also be in Tarzana of all places. They had a little birthday, or they had a little party over the uh, over the weekend, I believe it was. And uh, apparently, and this is just a rumor because I haven't actually been able to clarify this, apparently Farmer Charlie actually gave Uber a live view. No. That's the rumor. I'm not exactly sure. No, if dude. That's true, though. That that's could be what, that's probably why he has a live view. Farmer yeah, Charlie yeah. gave Uber the yeah. live view? That begs the question if Farmer Charlie is actually trying to poach CX members for his streamer house. Which please don't, please don't well. take Uber. I know. Yeah, please don't take Uber. Right? I mean, I like Uber, Apparently but. There still is a little bit of bad that's funny, blood that's, between that's, Evan. I don't think that's true, but it's funny. He posted in his Instagram story earlier. Let's check that out. <laughs> Oh yeah, like your house isn't the same thing. Look, at, bro, you think you're driving oh, a Mercedes Logan, doing this? Like you're a fucking ass, actual like normie. You know, Evan was. Dude, we so drive military trucks, motherfucker. Like what has happened? So, who knows? But I was really scared because me and Bam were actually in the room, and uh, we we drive fucking sal thing, salvaged Hummers, table. motherfucker. Okay, we don't well, need we your really Mercedes. Full time YouTube again, actually. Wow. Yeah. It didn't go so well because, like, I mean, he didn't have a following. No, 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 no. And, you know, I mean, I know, I think I know somebody will, like, gift, like, 100 subs, 200 subs. <laughs> yeah. But then next oh, boy, yeah, Drake on. Paul does have a military truck. That's the problem with gifts. Salvaged subs. Hummers. No one seems to resub, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah. 
Anyways, we actually had one of the CX Network members go and uh, give a little bit of justice to Evan at his own streamer house. This is the first streamer house battle-a-thon. Let's check out this clip of Gary. Like when he, when he kicked Evan off the net, Evan Network, I was like, that's a good decision, bro. And I agree, you know? Good shit, Gary. That's what I'm talking careful about. Careful the dog right there. Careful, careful the dog. You want to dance with me, boy? All right, should we go out now? <laughs> I'm done. Reacting to CX News. Amazing. Jesus. See what Stunning. I got your back, bro. I got your back, Ice Poseidon. <laughs> Maybe they're just playing fighting. I'm, I, I the, could be wrong about that. What the hell is that? <laughs> what? That's from, that per, from that perspective right there, <laughs> it looks like, look like two chicks are fighting. Yeah, yeah, they are kind of a little bit feminine, yeah. yeah. No, but Gary, <laughs> Gary's actually, that was Gary. Gary no, 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 I'm, I'm cool yeah. with Gary. Like, yeah. cool no, with I, I love Gary. Gary's a really good guy, and he's never said anything bad about me or anything like that ever before. Me neither. They tell a lot of CX news, and no one just writes me. I say, I'm sure. <laughs> Dude, my phone keeps going crazy. It's like, fuck CX news. <laughs> say hello. Whoa. All right. We're going to go out. I'm gonna go see if Marie's uh, gonna come out with us. Give me, I'll be right back, everybody, and uh, we shall go. Let me see what is this leak script? What do we got here? What is this, Phineas? Uh, what the fuck? How did you get this? Why are you leaking that, dude? Just uh, no, don't leak that. Let them, let them do their stuff, dude. Uh, all right, I'll be right back, and uh, let's go. Senor Poseidon, are you ready, amigo? Let's go do it. Hey! Hey, there you are, hey. Marie! How are you? I'm right. good, I got some sunburn. Wait, what today. the fuck? You're all red. Yeah. Are you just laying out there? Yeah, I was outside all day thinking, oh, he's so red. I can tell him. <laughs> Why don't you get comfortable? Huh? Why don't you get comfortable? Because I was writing. Oh, it's cold inside the house. Okay. So, Marie, nice. some people in the chat were saying that you treated me very well in Paris. What do you and, and, I, and I haven't treated you well at all here because i've been in my room playing play. runescape snorting cocaine while you sleep with scuff steve jobs oh no, this is not true <laughs> well i take care of his cats maybe <laughs> <laughs> fuck take care of his cats that's even better um okay well i told the chat I, I told you by tonight you'll have a room for yourself you don't have to worry about that good. we got thank you so much we got you marie so Thank you. It's all good. Um, all right, let me uh, just read these couple uh, things out, and then we'll head out to chat. Uber is forever CX. He's a fucking face tattoo. <laughs> Uber in the chat. Okay, thank you, dude. Uh, I mean, that's kind of true, though. Ice, let me and my friends come for spring break and stay still. I offered you 1K to stay in your guest house back in December. We'll sleep in garage. 
Yeah, and you can, if you pay me 1K, you could sleep for your spring break. That's fine. Not in a garage, but like maybe in a bedroom or something. Uh, just let me know when you're going to come, though. Like exact dates here. Uh, and then here it is. You cute, blah, 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 all the shit. Okay, your bro, I've been here since Hurricane Matthew stuck in your house back in Florida. Didn't donate for a long time since I've been so sick. Couldn't watch you that often. Glad to be back. Keep it up. All right, thank you yesterday. Appreciate it. How you been, dude? You've been, uh, I know you're doing it all the time. What do you mean? I think so. All right, let's fucking go. Let's go. So we're gonna start with bowling, then we'll just go with wherever, you know, I don't know, maybe have yeah, some drinks. Nice. So I'll just maybe get some food. I want some good cheese, Marie. You want some good cheese? Yeah, I don't know where the fuck to get that shit around here. I, here. I want some I French know. shit. I know this place has good wine. I want some French shit. Ugh. I want I don't know, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll see. Uh yeah. all right, let me uh make a smooth transition over here. One second, please. What have you been up to today, Marie? What? What have you been up to today? I was here. Like just trying to recover, and I feel pretty good. But I don't think I can eat cheese with today. Or oh yeah, that's right. Maybe You're sick. I can eat, but no, I, I I feel very good. But uh, I'm I'm kind of scared to eat. What was it like a, you had the flu or something? Stomach flu. Stomach flu. Which is not that that sexy. <laughs> I mean, it's only a stomach flu. Yeah, yeah but I mean, it, it, Ma Marie, Marie, not that. you say it's not it's sexy. Not that. I bet, I bet half, I bet half the dudes in the chat would pay a hundred dollars to eat your throw up and your diarrhea. Uh, I swear no, to God, I don't think so. I guarantee you, if you gave fucking Uber your throw up, he would drink it. Oh my God. Or any fucking dude for that matter. A hundred, like, what the fuck do you mean? Like, there are people who probably eat the corn out of your shit. Marie, so you know, I, I don't. I think you're downplaying yourself here a little bit. <laughs> Wouldn't it be my proudest? That's my no. It would be your proudest fat. What do you mean? Okay, whatever. Well, Next it, time I save it. I mean, <laughs> hey, you should actually. You should do a stream where you throw up in a bottle, and you give oh. it out to people. They're like, will you drink this? Because oh. there is a saying that you know, I will drag my balls through like glass to fucking like get in that ass or something. Will you do these? So you should do like disgusting things and oh. offer it to dudes. If they do it, then it's like, oh, you could, like, give them, like, a hug or something. <laughs> like, if they drink your throw up or, like... Oh, no. Oh, can you imagine? I, yeah, no. I think that would be some good content, to be honest. All right, let's, uh... Can you imagine? Uh, yeah. No. I think that would be some good content, to be honest. All right, let's, uh, make a tr smooth transition here. Just real quick. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, let me bring another HDMI cable and a S9 with me, just in case that shit fucks up. All right, in case this shit fucks up. All right, let me grab my wallet. Let me grab my vape, because I'm addicted. All right, let's grab my taser, because fools are going to try and press me. Um, What else? Where's my S8 at? I have my box of S8s. I literally have a, I literally have a box of S8s. Let me see. Oh, that wasn't that smooth fuck chat. Let me block my closet because there's like probably like panties and shit in here. Um, all right, right here, got my S9 right here. Oh, I'm gonna open this. A brand new, literally brand new S9. I have like four of these. <laughs> Just in case the live view gives me issues, right? Yeah. <sighs> Ah, ah, there we go. You need to take the, <coughs> the small piece. Huh? Small piece of what? You don't need to put a SIM card on there? No, I have okay, uh, okay. the you live view has okay. internet, so okay. my shoes and let's go. <coughs> and then we're gonna go with uh, we're actually taking the uh, uh, our, our good friend uh, Nate, Nate the Dwarf yeah. and uh, Luchador is going to be the camera guy while we're doing stuff so that's what we're doing at the moment yeah. alright let me close this door and then let's go uh, this is a very nice day out today I love this daylight savings was, I was getting sick and tired of it getting fucking dark at 5 o'clock that shit was annoying alright well, let's do it